In this USA Trains special custom run video, we will discuss custom runs in alphabetical order from the letters G to the letters N by name. So, here we go. Okay, so there's uh, a couple custom runs made for uh, Garden Craft Incorporated. Uh, first up was this 1999 Garden Craft Hobo Weekend done on the American Series simulated steel boxcar. Next up, I'm sure a lot of people remember the year 2000 and the Y2K scare, but Garden Craft had USA Trains made the Y2K year 2000 compliant car. Next up, uh, we have the Y2K power generators. So we have another custom run made for the Garden Railway Company. Let's take a closer look at that. This is an actual ad for them. And it was a USA Trains um, Ralston Purina uh, Dog Chow Woodside Boxcar. And we'll take a look at their name here. So, Garden Railway Company, Madison Road, Cincinnati, Ohio. And here's what the actual production run looked like when it was done. Next up, we have a special custom run made for Garlic City Railroad Company in Gilroy, California. And here it is here, Garlic City Railroad Company, Gilroy, California. The garlic capital of the world. Okay, so the biggest customer of the USA Train custom runs is a place called the Gold Coast Station. Uh, run by a fellow by the name of Hans. And he had a whole bunch of custom runs done by USA Trains. So much so that, you know, I, I can't get into details of every one of them because it would make this video so long. But we will scan through the pictures of, of these uh, custom runs as we're going through. And I'm talking to you about them. Here's the USA Trains uh, crane car. And, like, all these custom runs were, that we're looking at now was done on what the Hans called the Southern Pacific Black Widow series. So he really liked the Southern Pacific Black Widow. So he did quite a bit of um, USA Trains custom runs done on that paint scheme. And some of them even in multiple road numbers. So if he did one and he liked it and it sold out, he would do one in another year or Customers came into his store saying, hey, I wanted that, but he sold out of them. And then, you know, he would try and make it again sometime. But some of them had the years that they were made on them as the road number. Uh, some did not, but like here, for example, this was made in 2009. Uh, so that gives you an example there. Uh, this was made in 2004, so you'll see... Uh, Southern Pacific 11, 2004. So he tried to include the year uh, of that it was made. Now, he also did uh, Ultimate Series Looking Motors. So here we have a What If Southern Pacific Black Widow Series GP30. Uh, again, as you see, he changed the design. This one has so Southern Pacific with the Union Pacific Herald on it. But if you scroll over to the next one, this one has the uh, United States flag. So he did some very unique custom runs, and this is a cool one. And you can see the bottom container on this says Gold Coast Station, Ventura, California. He, the Gold Coast Station at one time, I don't know if they still do, had two different locations. And then uh, here's the one for the second uh, location right there. Tallahatchie Loop, California. And we keep moving on. Uh, these were uh, custom runs also on the Southern, Southern Pacific Black Widow series, but with um, 
you know, products that were actually out there. And we'll just keep moving along here. Uh, and if you notice, the Southern Pacific series of tank car actually had silver painted trucks. And and these are actual all USA trains custom runs. Uh, this is how they were delivered. Uh, there were two different road names of the piggyback. Uh, and you've seen that he did a lot of USA trains ultimate series custom runs. But here's an American series one. A what if Southern Pacific rail box uh, Black Widow series. So that's kind of cool. And as you can see, this one was made in 2000. The one before that was made in 1999. Here is a USA Trains uh, SD70 Mac in the Black Widow series. Uh, I mean, that's just cool for a uh, custom run what if locomotive. Uh, American series, uh, Southern Pacific uh, Steel Side Boxcar. Speeder in the Southern Pacific. And there's two of these, one for each store. So this one says Venturi, California. Okay, we have a uh, Black Widow series, uh, Rock Caboose. Uh, here we have an ad for the Black Widow Ale from Gold Coast Station. Here's a Southern Pacific uh, Black Widow series uh, center beam car. What was unique about this is they actually, uh, on the inside of the car, uh, had all the logo pad printed inside there. And the loading instructions were to return it to Ventura, California. There were a couple of uh, Southern Pacific Black Widow custom runs in a Christmas uh, type of scheme here uh, made for Gold Coast Station. And here we have Santa's Express. And this was another one done in 2017. Next up we have Gold Coast Station exclusive custom runs. These are not the Southern Pacific Black Widow that you would traditionally see from him. So Hans had USA Trains make two different road numbers of the Amtrak Package Express boxcars. These were the Ultimate Series PS140 foot uh, boxcars. He also had uh, Indian Motorcycles as a custom run made by USA Trains. Here's a black version. So there was a red and a black version. He also had this uh, special run uh, Pilsner beer car, reefer car made uh, by USA Trains. Uh, this is also a special uh, custom run made for uh, Gold Coast Station, Mars and Company, Hams, Bacon, Lard. And USA Trains ran a custom run of their Overton uh, passenger cars made in the Napa Valley wine train to go with the Aristocrat wine train set. Uh, sold exclusively by uh, Gold Coast Station. And I believe there was like three of these cars. Or four. Yeah, four. So there was four cars all together. Next we have custom runs made for a coffee shop called Inland Trains G-Scale in uh, Upland, California. And they had... These were these were a uh, special custom run tournament of roses series, and those not familiar, the tournament of roses is an, actually a uh, parade, and these were commissioned by Steve Falk, owner of Inland Trains. 
Only a hundred of each of these were ever made. However, they did not sell well. And then uh, Steve Falk of uh, Emily Trains uh, had many of them repainted. Uh, so who knows how much of these are actually really left over. Alright, so now it's time for a little history lesson. So we'll read this here. So, the Tournament of Roses Commemorative Car. Inland Trains has been licensed by the Tournament of Roses and commissioned by On Track Productions to produce a commemorative car for the big train show in Pasadena on May 15th and 16th, 1993. The car incorporates the Rose Parade theme and Tournament of Roses logo and is a refrigerated car made by USA Trains in a limited production. This is a first in a series that will be produced each year incorporating the annual Rose Parade themes. And once again, these were not really a popular seller at this time. Uh, people were saying that the owner of the store actually had a bunch of leftovers that didn't sell repainted so who knows how many exist but here we have uh, once again these are all torn of roses here's a 1990 uh, 1992 will blow that up so you guys can see that and once again this is a parade uh, tournament of roses was an actual parade that was held Here's the 104th, 105th, 106th, 1995, 1996. And what you're seeing here, like for example, Kids Laughter and Dreams, that was the theme of the parade that year. Inland Trains did try to come out with a comic book series. Of USA trains custom runs but once again they, they just didn't sell that well and here we have the first and only that I'm aware of uh, comic series um, so here we have a Superman uh, American series steel box car made by USA trains next up we have a custom run bear Wiz beer GP9 locomotive now these the locomotive itself was made by USA Trains. However, they were custom painted and the graphics were done by Johnson Flats Locomotive's work. Even though USA Trains didn't actually create the custom run, I still thought it was important to include this in this video. Because, um, you know, they did a, such a wonderful job uh, capturing the theme and as you see they pretty much uh, went off the caboose that somebody created the yellow caboose the bear was caboose so if uh, you were around this time period you could actually come you know have a complete set of bear was beer brewery cars and the cars were all made by USA Trains. The cars were custom run by USA Trains. However, the caboose was a custom, self-custom run, which the guy was a club member, and I forget his name. He ended up creating the bear with, yeah, the bear was beer caboose for a couple other people. And then we have Johnson Flats creating the locomotive to pull them all. So the Los Angeles Garden Railway Society had USA Trains make a couple of custom runs for them. Here is a the second anniversary done on a Woodside Reefer. And here is their 1993 fifth anniversary done on a Woodside boxcar. Next up, there were uh, there was a hobby shop called New England G Scale in Quincy, Massachusetts. They had USA Trains make custom runs for them. Uh, Brian Bollinger was the uh, owner of New England G-Scale. Um, 
after he closed that up, he opened up a new business called Bollinger Eggery Scale Trains in Beacon Hill Road, Belmont, New Hampshire. I'm not sure if he's still in business or not. So here is an actual ad by New England G-Scale Trains of their custom-run um, rolling stock made by USA Trains they were going to offer. And you can see that they had their own um, stock numbering system going here. So you had N1 Neco Wafers, N2 Schweppes Ginger Ale, N4 Cape Cod Potato Chip, and five United Farmers Reefer and six Mary Jane and seven second anniversary. Then we have the RCA Victor and SS Pierce. So taking a look at the N4 Cape Cod in this photo, there was 75 of these had flashing lights and then 50 were made with non-flashing lights. So the light and the actual um, lighthouse would light up but only on 75 of them. For the Shrups ginger ale only 125 were made in 1994. Originally the Mecca wafer was going to be made in four different road numbers 125 each but he had such a hard time selling the original Mecca wafer he canceled out on the other three road numbers. Alright so let's take a look at some more quality photos of the USA Trains custom runs. Here we have the, the N1 Neko, the Schweppes, uh, Cape Cod potato chips, like I said. Um, some had the flashing light and some didn't. This is a non-flashing light version. Mary Jane, RCA Victor in red. Cape Cod Popcorn, RCA Victor in blue, which I believe is the most rarest out of them all, and the first anniversary of New England G-Scale Trains. USA Trains has also done custom runs for the National Garden Railway Convention. And the National Garden Railway Convention is, you know, uh, certain clubs would host it and there would be uh, garden railways that would be open to the public for people to tour. So here is one for 1992. As you can see, it was a piggyback. Uh, 1995. Now, take a good look at this 1995 convention car and keep that in mind because we're going to discuss that a little later. And 1997. Here is another version of the 1997, the Red Wolf. This was for staff. This was the 1999 giveaway car made by USA Trains. USA Trains also made a power car for 1999 uh, NGRC. There was a uh, Overton dining car also made for the 1999 NGRC. These were pretty hard to find, pretty rare. Uh, not too many of these were made. There were more of the yellow made than there were the blue ones. Uh, he also made this uh, Sea World for the 2000 National Garden Railway Convention. He must have had some left over because uh, they eventually did make it into the catalog. And we're stock number R16254. And my past experience when something didn't sell or he didn't sell out from a show, he would put a stock number on them and put them in a the catalog for sale. Here is the 2002 uh, NGRC car. And that's another one we're going to talk about. And you'll see why here in the end. The 2003 uh, 19th anniversary for the NGRC convention. So 
So here's a 2003 NGRC uh, show car. 2004 USA Trains NGRC show car. So these are all USA Trains custom runs um, made for the NGRC. And this, this is the Ultimate Series uh, 10,000 gallon tank car. Uh, 2005 NGRC. 2007 NGRC, 2007 and this had a special uh, uh, poker chip that came with the car so this this is was really done by USA trains here we have the 2009 NGRC The 2013 NGRC. And here we have the 2014 NGRC. So this goes with that special custom run uh, Orange Blossom piggyback um, USC Trains car that I was talking about earlier in the video. So you could actually have a matching piggyback and uh, Woodside Reefer to go with it. Then we have the uh, 2016 NGRC. And here it is on display. What was so unique about the 1995 and the 2002 NGRC cars is that they were designed in such a way that if you took the 1995 uh, NGRC car and put it next to the 2002 NGRC car, the design was actually a continuation. USA Trains made custom run cars for the NMRA or National Model Railway Railroad Association. This custom run was for the NMRA for a series they did of the famous model railroads. And remember, I said famous model railroads. So these were uh, famous model railroads from the members of the NMRA. So the NMRA referred to these as the Heritage Series and Living Legend Series. The Heritage Series was basically dedicated to uh, the NMRA members who passed away. So let's take a look through. So here we have uh, Series Issue Number 1, Series Issue Number 2. So here is the NMRA Heritage Series. Series number one, made in honor of a layout built by John Allen. Series number two, made in honor of a layout built by Lynn Westcott. Series number three, made in honor of a layout built by Frank Allison. Series number four, Built in honor of a layout made by Bud Sima. If I get the names wrong, I'm sorry. Series number six, in honor of a layout built by Al Comback. Series number seven, in honor of a layout built by Bill McClanahan. Series number nine, in honor of a layout built by Jim Trout. Series number 11, in honor of a layout built by Lit Tower. Series number 12, in honor of a layout built by Jerry Drake. Series number 13, an honorable layout built by Gordon Odegaard. Odegaard, I'm sorry if I screwed up your name. 
Series number 14, an honorable layout built by Bob Heggy. H E G G E. Series number 15, an honorable layout built by Cliff Grant. Next, we have the NMRA Living Legend series. These were made in, uh, in honor of the members who were still living at the time. So here we have uh, series one of that issue, an honorable layout built by John Armstrong. There was also a white version of that. Series number two, an honorable layout built by Dean A. Freitag. Series number three, an honorable layout built by Milt Moore. Series number four, an honorable layout built by Hal Karsten. Series number five, and uh, made an honorable layout built by Alan McClellan. McClellan. This was a uh, this was made for the NMRA 21st Century Limited Convention held in San Jose, California, on July 30th to August 6th, 2000. Uh, this was the Chateau Martin Woodside Reefer and was uh, different than the USA Trains version, stock number R1618. Once again, thanks for watching my special Custom Runs USA Trains video. Obviously, we're out of time. We're at the half hour mark. I'm trying to keep these videos at half an hour. So, there's going to be one more segment of these yet. But in the meantime, you can stay tuned to Dacman Productions on YouTube and Facebook.